the connection that God has made possible between a man and a woman is truly amazing and it's important. According to scripture in Ephesians 5 verses 22 through 33, we actually learn that marriage is symbolically representing the love that Christ has for his church. So we never want to diminish a healthy desire for a Christian marriage. We never want to make Christian singles feel bad for wanting to be married because that's actually a biblical desire that God has created. However, like all good things and all desires, we can certainly take things too far and get in balanced. And the same thing is true with a desire for marriage. So in this video, I wanted to talk about five things that are actually more important than a Christian relationship. The first thing that's more important than a Christian relationship is our relationship with God. We can often figure out what's the most important thing by looking at what our enemy most attacks. Logically, if someone hates you, they're going to attack what's most important. And we can see this in what Satan attacks. When he tempted Adam and Eve from the very beginning, what he went after was their relationship with God. And we can see that same principle in our own life as well. For example, in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, it says, The God of this age, which means Satan, has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. Satan's primary goal is not to keep anyone single, although he may try to do that because marriage does glorify God. I actually have another video on that topic, so I'll leave that in a card right there. But again, Satan's primary goal isn't to attack relationships. His primary goal is to separate us from God because our relationship with God is what is absolutely the most important thing. The second thing that's actually more important than a Christian relationship is loving people. Now, marriage is a great context to express the love that God has given us. Every Christian is called to love other people. And again, that can be done in the context of marriage. It's a, it's a great place to do that. However, that's not the only place to do that. And loving people in general is more important than getting married. You can live a very unsuccessful Christian life as a married person if you do not express love to the people around you. And likewise, as we all know, you don't have to be married to live a fulfilling life. You can be a single person and love people and you are going to be glorifying God as you do that. First John chapter 4 verses 19 through 21 say, We love because he first loved us. Whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother or sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. And he has given us this command. Anyone who loves God must also love their brother and sister. The third thing that's more important than a Christian relationship is using your gift to advance the kingdom of God. So one way that you can all you can often figure out like what's more important is by basically just putting two the two options in front of you and picking the one that if you could only pick one you pick the one that would be most important. So if you had to for some reason pick your calling or a relationship, biblically as a Christian you would be required to pick serving the world with your gift. Now, biblically speaking, marriage is supposed to actually enhance your ability to serve God and to serve people if you're called to marriage. If marriage would not enhance your gift and not enhance your ability to serve the world around you, well, then you're not called to get married. That's really what Paul was talking about in 1 Corinthians 7. He talks about the importance of singleness and the importance of marriage, and he helps us all figure out the way you decide if you should pursue marriage or if you should pursue singleness is by figuring out what's going to help you serve God the most. So marriage and singleness really aren't the, the point here. The point is serving God and serving other people with the gifts that he's given you. 
the fourth thing that is way more important than any Christian relationship is contentment in Christ. One theme that runs throughout the pages of scripture is that we will not always get what we want on earth. God sovereignly allows certain things to happen and doesn't allow certain things to happen. But we know that God primarily wants us to be happy and joyful in Christ. For example, in Philippians 4, verse 4, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. It doesn't say just rejoice always because that would be cruel. It's okay if you're not happy about being single. It's okay if you're not happy about ha uh, being unhealthy or maybe having a disease or someone you love just died. It would be crazy to, for God to say rejoice in these circumstances because that's not right. That's not healthy and that's not what God wants. However, God does want all of us to realize that contentment in Christ is always possible and joy in the Lord is what's most important. So above a Christian relationship, our, our contentment in Christ is way more important. It's possible to actually be married and miserable your entire life, and it's also possible to want to be married, but to remain single your whole life and still have immense joy because Christ is ultimately the fullness of joy that we all really need. And the fifth thing that's more important than a Christian relationship is the glory of God. Anytime we talk about what's most important, the conversation's incomplete if we don't mention the glory of God. When you read through scripture, you'll learn really fast that what God cares most about is his glory. And actually what brings us most joy is actually glorifying God. So everything revolves around the glory of God. Going back to 1 Corinthians 7, again, the point isn't about being single or about being married. It's about what will will help you bring the most glory to God in your life. Don't forget to tap the subscribe button if you haven't already. And here's another video if you want to keep learning with me. I'm Mark from ApplyGodsWord.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and God bless.